Hey everyone, it's Clint. I'm gonna show a little bit of my ignorance here. I know that Shang-Chi is a thing. Like, I know that the character exists, but that's about it. <laughs> that's all I know. And apparently, there are a lot of people in China that are very upset, like it says here, why China is angry about Marvel's first Asian superhero movie. Oopsie. Yeah, this, this is a problem because China actually spends a lot of money on movies. They can make Hollywood a ton of money if they like the movie. And you've seen historically Hollywood will go out of its way to try and make Chinese viewers very pleased with the movie and spend a lot of dough. Now in this case, you it feels like it should be a layup. Like here is a movie about a Chinese superhero and everything about it could make could be catered perfectly to Chinese audiences so that they're going to love it and spend lots of money but it looks like they're actually having the exact opposite effect now i had to look into this a little bit to really understand why this is a controversy but apparently there is a, a villain called believe it or not fu manchu <laughs> and i know a lot of you already know this i did not know that fu manchu was a character i've never re read any of these particular comics um yeah, so that, that is pretty, it is pretty hilarious. Now, in the film, the Fu Manchu character is not even going to be there. In fact, they're going to use a different character, the Mandarin, which was already used in Iron Man 3. However, the Mandarin, it wasn't, it wasn't really the, the Mandarin, I guess, or something. It was, it was all an act. Spoiler alert. Uh, anyway, but this is actually the Mandarin, it sounds like, and it's going to have Chinese actors and uh kung fu and all that kind of stuff uh now the reason why they're so upset about it uh it is well here we go here it is in a nutshell it says the plot line of shang chi is about belittling chinese people while praising americans this is uh yeah that's what one person said um yeah on a chinese is this like a i think it's a social media site i guess they said it's a symbol of foreign discrimination against asians and yeah, I think you'd be really hard pressed to say that there wasn't any of that kind of stuff back in the day in comics or in films. Uh, definitely that, that, you know, that, that stuff existed for sure. Uh, now today with, uh, especially with Marvel, this is funny because they're trying usually to bend over backward to make sure they are as politically correct as possible <laughs> and that they're also going to play well for foreign audiences. Uh, I suspect they're really going to have to change something and get ahead of this in, in order to, you know, save those dollar bills and change perception. I don't know though, it might be too late. <laughs> Once people make up their mind on something like this, it seems like there's not much else you can do. Uh, now I went to Twitter and looked up Shang-Chi racist and we have all sorts of goodies here to look at. Uh, here's one at the top here. Uh, wait, I love Shang-Chi, but how is he racist? Did the word get a new meaning? Yeah, some people are confused. I, maybe I'm one of those. I, I Though I haven't read Shang-Chi, I don't, yeah, don't really care that much. Oh, and here is a really, really good one. What are you doing, Marvel? The Shang-Chi actor looks like Japanese, and the female lead is incredibly ugly. Nobody in China like faces like that period, not to mention racist F.U. man, Fu Manchu, period. Nobody in China is going to watch this movie. Uh, so racism's not bad, but it is okay, you know, judging faces. Uh, <laughs> the lead actress is ugly, so, you know, they, they got a point. Here's a more in-depth explanation. Here we go. Basically, the origin of Shang-Chi includes Fu Manchu, which is like a huge anti-Chinese symbol and the makers of the movie said they're going to change the story to make it less racist but lots of people are still mad and it looks like they're calling for a boycott eventually uh flat flat smiley face indifferent face or nervous face maybe i don't know how you interpret these things anymore yeah i'm beginning to wonder and think that this all really just comes down to intellectual property they have the intellectual property rights to do these kinds of stories they already own it they own the character so why not use it, right? Why not cash in on it? Um, well, apparently it has a problematic history. Every time I hear the word problematic, I kind of cringe because it usually means that somebody is from a particular school of thought. Why not anything else but besides problematic? What does problematic say <laughs> that other words don't? Like Mandarin is racist or 
Mandarin is uh, a stupid character, like all these other things, but problematic is such a loaded word. And yet that is the word that is always used. The Mandarin being a problematic character is arguably the biggest issue. In fact, Shang-Chi's origin story is problematic AF in the first place, with Shang-Chi turning against his own father, Fu Manchu, who is a racist character caricature. Like you said, Fu Manchu will not be in this movie, and Chinese people are aware of that, but having the Mandarin instead isn't much better. I'm curious if the same kind of outrage existed uh, for Iron Man 3. I don't know. I didn't. I don't know. I didn't hear any, about any of this. Not only is the character itself problematic, but the casting makes it even worse because the villain is played by a native Chinese while the heroes are Western Asian. People think this looks uh, like a story where the Chinese Canadian fights. Uh, I'm sorry, I've got to stop here. Western Asian. So that means people that are of Asian descent, but live in America or Canada, perhaps. I don't really see a problem here. I mean, it, that's part of acting. You could you can be whatever, but if you're still Asian, and it is after all a Hollywood film, made in America, I I I don't know. Am I missing something here? That doesn't seem like a problem. All right, people think this looks like a story where the Chinese Canadian fights the native uh, Chinese villain, thus destroying his connection with the East and embraces the West as a Western hero. We don't know the actual plot yet, of course, and Marvel will probably try to modernize the Mandarin, but the character's name itself is already considered to be insulting. If Marvel came up with a new character name, it would have been better received. In my opinion, the whole Mandarin mess is a legitimate concern, and although the jury's still out, you really can't fault the Chinese people for having a negative first impression. It almost sounds to me like this is, uh, according to Chinese audiences, this is just an unpalatable character altogether. I'm not sure how you can make this film and not have it be a sticking point. I don't believe the Mandarin is actually a problem because again, I didn't hear any of this sort of outrage expressed uh, when the Marvel films were going, even though the Mandarin was played by I mean he was you know he was being like a British person playing the Mandarin and yeah none of this made sense uh, and so I honestly feel like it has more to do with Shang-Chi and the story itself and perhaps the history itself uh, than specific names uh, of the villain uh, I'm not sure that this is a winnable fight so I, I would not be surprised if Marvel does a massive reversal I have no idea how far along the filming process they are or casting whatever they've done uh, but if they're too far along I'm not sure what they can do to make uh, foreign audiences happy and in fact it's probably gonna be a little bit of an uphill battle especially when Marvel is trying now to be the wokest of the woke so yeah uh, this sounds a little bit like a fail let me know what you think about it here's something that's not racist whatsoever and I'm sure Chinese audiences will love this is uh, done by a a uh, friend here, Scott McCullough, he has this comic book that just launched called Door Kickers Panzer D Demon, and you can check it out. I'm going to put it in the link in the description below if you're interested uh, in backing it, which you should be. It looks good. Um, go check it out. It, uh, it looks like a lot of fun. I backed it. Uh, special ops use magic and, ad and advanced weapons to take on horrific otherworldly creatures. I kind of look at it and I get like a Hellboy kind of vibe, Hellboy meets G.I. Joe kind of vibe. So I think I think it's cool. So do check it out. And while you're there at Indiegogo, you might as well also check out Downcast. This is my comic that is just destroying it. Uh, and yeah, you better get in because we're, we're working through the pages and this book is going to come out. So please do back it. Thank you very much. I'd love to see in the comment sections, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you next time.